Hi, I'm Martin, and I have a big, big problem. This is the pile. As you can see, I buy way, way too many anime models, and I gotta get these guys out of their boxes. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna open all these boxes just for you. Welcome to Cape Frenzy. Okay, so where are we at right now? We're at one, two, three, four, five, five ponies down, two to go as of the current release one. So we're gonna open up the new one in this box. That's like five weeks of pony now, hey? Okay, so once again, we have Ami Ami. This one is the same picture as the one before, which is just the Yukata image for the Spring Festival Matsuri. So, so there's that. Gosh, it's a big giant piece of paper. Today's pony is Rainbow Dash. The most popular of all the My Little Ponies in North America. So I'm sure most of you who have been on the internet has seen Rainbow Dash. She's like one of the main tagline characters for My Little Pony. We have our new Rainbow Dash figure from Kotobukuya. And let's talk about the box. So for Rainbow Dash, we have the white box with the pain wind on the front. So we have the image down here by Shunya Yamashita. Up top, we have the open window that shows you inside the box. We have the cutie mark on the side, which is her lightning symbol. And then on the back, you have images of the figure that you're getting. On this side, you have the pictures of the figure in the Shunya Yamashita art and on the bottom you just have the general like caution information. Generally speaking the box is pretty much just like the other five boxes. So for the box there isn't anything really special about the box. It's pretty plain. It does have the cutie marks all over the side of the box. You can see that there. There's balloons, there's rainbows, diamonds, there's butterflies. So all the other cutie marks are all across the box. The boxes are all the same. The only difference usually is the pictures on the front as well as the rainbows. Rainbow Dash's rainbow has four colors. It's got the red, orange, the tealish, like the lime green, and then like the blue. I'm gonna give the box an eight out of 10. All right, so let's move on to the packaging now. So for Rainbow Dash, we had her in the bag when you saw me take it out. She also had all that paper wrapping around her, so that was great. And then we have the box, we'll open it up. We've got one piece of tape on top. And then we have the scallop back, up or out. Inside the box, we have the My Little Pony logo as usual. There's also blue and green on the internals and there's bubbles inside and stars. We have the two-sided packaging with the six button layout. So each button on each side here to hold the packaging together. There is the face window as usual. Again, not a big fan of the face window because the face window means that if something were to puncture the box then the face will get damaged. It's mainly just for aesthetic reasons. They have the picture window in the front so you can see what you're buying and you have a clear view of the figure. I just don't like it. I want it to be covered. Tape all the way around. Okay. Rainbow Dash herself comes in one big bag. The pony is also in her separate bag as well. And it just kind of pops out like this. So only two bags protecting her. Nothing around the hair this time for Rainbow Dash, which I think is kind of a bad idea because they should totally have more packaging for her hair because her hair is very far out of her body. So like it is a little bit more prone to be breakable compared to the rest of the ponies because her hair sticks out in this big giant ponytail. Again, it's not super impressive. So we're gonna give the packaging an eight out of 10. For assembly wise, there isn't anything to do with the stand. Again, Pinky was the only one that had to assemble the stand, which was very simple. They probably decided after Pinky that making it like that was kind of dumb. So they all have stands that are already pre-assembled, and as you can see, they're very quite strong. That means we can talk about her stats. Rainbow Dash comes to us from Kotobukuya as usual. 
She is part of the My Little Pony Be Shoujo line. She stands just at 9 inches like the other ponies with a base of 4 inches and she was $150 Canadian, that's with shipping included. So she was more likely around 120 or so, so she was a little bit more expensive than the other ponies. And she came out in August of last year, 2020. She's out of the box, so we can now talk about her sculpt and paint. Rainbow Dash is a great energetic character and this pose really speaks to that. She has a great dynamic pose right off the bat and the colors in this are really spectacular, especially the hair. It has all the different rainbow colors inside of it. Now the one weird thing about the hair is that the yellow is not very vibrant. If you compare it to like the yellow that I mentioned back in Fluttershy's review, Fluttershy's yellow is also quite dull, especially considering that like her hair is very vibrant and having this duller yellow makes it look not as fun. But it might be due to the fact that they try to make her more realistic by giving her a darker yellow. I think it kind of fails a little bit in that regard and I think it does need to be a little bit better. The yellow also has some purple fading. I thought at first that they were trying to blend it into a purple, but the only purple that's close enough is actually on the back where you can see purple down there, but there's no purple up top. Speaking of up top, there's actually a red piece right here that is really tiny. I wish this one was longer so that it would kind of match through with all these ones. But Rainbow Dash having like this choppy giant big ponytail kind of makes sense because Rainbow seems like the type of girl that wouldn't have a really perfect ponytail. Like it feels like it would be all choppy like this. Now the hair itself has a lot of good colors going out. We have the purple, reds, we have the lime green, we have the blue. The yellow is just the thing that's kind of disappointing about this, but either not, it's not bad. The front bangs are quite cute as well. Speaking of the front, she has goggles on her front. These goggles are really cute. They have these kind of plastic acrylic pieces that are clear on the top to mimic glass. Now the good thing about this is that this accessory looks a lot more professional than the rest of the models. But in general, this one is the most professional looking out of all of the like accessories on these figures. So that is a really good bonus for her. Rainbow Dash also has the pony ears. Now for these pony ears, I can't actually tell if it's supposed to be for the goggles or if it's supposed to be for her head because they're not really attached to the goggles but from front view, it does look like they're part of the goggles. The Equestria Girls are more human-like, so they don't actually have any pony ears or tails, but they do grow them when they're doing special magic abilities and stuff. So there is that as well. Now for Rainbow Dash's face, this face is great. It has a really cute little sneaky smile, and that is definitely a signature of Rainbow Dash. And the cool thing is that her face is actually this tan color. Now it makes sense because Rainbow Dash is always in the clouds. The Pegasus ponies, the ones with the wings, actually control the weather and Rainbow Dash likes to sunbathe a lot on the clouds so it actually makes perfect sense that she would have tan skin. Now this is also fun because it's also a nice little point of representation. They do have different types of ponies with different colored skin so this is a nice little nod to some representation. If not then it's just kind of more of an anime thing because the tan sporty girl that is pretty much a stereotype in anime, and that could also be one of those things too. But it's nice to see a different character with skin tone that's not the same as the other ones that have already been released. Now for her eye color though, they've decided to give her this lighter pink eye. At first I thought why isn't it the same color as the Rainbow Dash eye? But I think the lighter pink is nice because it kind of offsets the rest of the figure's multicolor hair. Having that lighter pink really pops a little bit more than having the normal red eye, so I think that's actually an okay design choice. And again, it's also something they do a lot for these kind of stereotypical anime tan girls is that they give her like a lighter eye color. And usually the bright colors are to offset the darker skin tones. And it's mostly like an aesthetic thing. The face is pretty good. The eyebrows are good. The nose and face. This one does look pretty happy and fun. So I do appreciate this one compared to like the other ones like Fluttershy. It's a lot better, I feel. And then for her outfit, she has the white tank top with the rainbow cutie mark. So Rainbow Dash's cutie mark is the cloud and thunderbolt with rainbow colors. Now to explain this, basically Rainbow Dash, she controls weather because as I mentioned, the ponies help with weather for the Pegasus. And the lightning bolt refers to her fast speed. Rainbow Dash actually is able to do this thing called the sonic rain boom, which explodes into the sky. And it's like a sonic boom, but with rainbows. And it's pretty fun to see. 
I think at one point she also did the double rain boom. Actually, wait. The double rain boom was a fan animation. Yes. See, it's hard to tell what's a fan animation now and what is not because everything has gone such high quality with the pony fandom that it is really hard to tell now what was fandom and what was actual canon. So I'm pretty sure Double Rain Boom was a fan animation, if I remember right. That's just how good the things have gotten in the Pony fandom. Now for Rainbow Dash's shirt, it's kind of interesting because it's white. And if you look really closely, you can actually see that there's a little hint of yellow showing through where her bra would be. There's two reasons why I think this would happen. One, they wanted to add fan service because obviously with the other ponies, they're all wearing skirts and they have underwear. Anime models, fan service is a thing. Now, the other reason I think is that maybe the white plastic itself is really thin and if they casted it onto her body, maybe it was too see-through, maybe it was not as modest, so they decided to put in that color so that it doesn't look as like revealing. So that might be the other reason for it. Now we do have that blue line going across and there's blue shading in the outfit itself and the blue shading is pretty good, it offsets the white nicely. I don't know if I like the blue line, I feel like it's not really that appropriate. It feels like it's meant to be like a belt, and I think it would have been better without the blue line. But the blue stuff on her body really helps pop the model out, especially because it's matching with the pony, like for instance her jacket. Her blue jacket actually has yellow stripes on it, and there's also a little bit of detail like buttons and stuff, so that's really nice. There's a great amount of fold in there too, so that is really quite good as well for this kind of figure, because it adds a lot of extra like movement to the figure which makes it look really dynamic so it's really good that they did that and the blue and yellow pretty much refer to the wonder bolts so the wonder bolts are kind of interesting because they are basically the formation flyers of the show they're like the blue angels of usa and the thing that's really weird about them is that they're also the military so they do a lot of like shows for the general public but they're also called in for like military strikes when like a is in danger and half the time you're like, wow, the Wonderbolts do a lot of cool things and it must be really tough. But every time I think about the Wonderbolts, I think of this one scene with Soren and his pie. <laughs> Near the middle of the series, Rainbow Dash actually gets a chance to join the Wonderbolt. So it's great to see her follow through with her dreams and stay loyal to her dreams, unlike to her friends. So in My Little Pony, there is this thing called the Elements of Harmony. And the Elements of Harmony are like the virtues of friendship. And for Rainbow Dash, her virtue is loyalty. And at first you're like, oh cool, Rainbow Dash is loyal, that's awesome. But then you're like, you think about it, and every single time that Rainbow Dash has made some kind of promise to do something for someone, he always kind of goes about not doing it, then failing really hard, and then finally doing it in the end. And then you're like, guess she was loyal? Like. Every time you look at her, it's just like, I don't feel like she ever incorporates that loyalty thing very often. She's always like brushing off her friends and like just taking responsibility after the fact. And I'm just like, you're really good for loyalty though. But I mean, like, it's not like the other ponies have really gone full on virtues at all times. I mean, every one of them has broken it at one point. But like, Rainbow Dash is a little suspect. <laughs> So now that the mini rant's over, let's talk about the mini jeans. These mini jeans are really cute. I like the fact that they gave her jeans instead of a skirt, and it actually has really nice little small details like the buns on the side, and some little bits of zipper and pattern work as well as on the back. There's like stitch work done on the back pockets, and you can see how it's a little bit shiny as well, so it adds a nice little finish to the jean. I like the fact that it's jeans, it's great. It sets her apart from the other ponies, and it gives her a lot more character. It shows her sporty, outdoorsy side. Legs aren't anything too special. They have the long length. They are two-tone shades. They have a little bit of shading on the knee. Now, even though this figure is quite dynamic, having one leg up and one leg down isn't the greatest because the other ones have the same kind of thing. It seems to be the default kind of pose for these ponies. I wish she was doing something else. Maybe she had her arms on her hips or something. It'd be really fun. But one thing I don't like about this figure is the boot. The boots are not really quite special. They are okay design-wise, they have like wings coming out of the strings on the boot and they're a bit more chunky, you know, like they're a bit thicker and that makes it look a little bit better but I don't like the fact that they don't have any shading on them. The rest of the bodies have shading on them so like the boots not having any kind of shading kind of throws it off and it makes it look cheap and again this is a weird Hasbro thing so I don't know if this is Hasbro mandated 
because Hasbro figures tend to have really cheap looking boots. So maybe that's like their homage to Hasbro toys, I don't know. Cool thing though is that on the back of the boot, just like Pinkies, there's actually a cutie mark on the back too. And that's pretty fun as well. It's alright, there's a white stripe on the back. But like, as or not, it's pretty generic. It doesn't look that great. And I wish the boot was a little better. Now, where it doesn't really lose points is Rainbow Dash herself as the pony. Now this pony face is probably the best pony face out of the entire collection. She looks amazing. She has a great expression on her face. This is a really fun expression. It really is Rainbow Dash. The colors on her hair are quite vibrant. The blue is really nice. The eyes are nice. I don't like the 3D eyelash on this one too much because I feel like it pops out too much. The one thing that is wrong with this Rainbow Dash figure is there are some bits of paint that are kind of chipped away on the tail and that will lose some points for paint. This would have been prevented if it wasn't like covered in just plastic. It needed like some kind of bubble wrap around the tail or something. This figure is probably the best shaped I think out of the ponies so far next to Twilight and Sunset. The wings and stuff aren't really hidden too well, from, especially from this side. You can see the line work on the head and the wing, but that's pretty much something you can't get rid of unless you make it one full body figure, which is a little bit more difficult than just making separate figures. You can put more detail into the separate parts of the figure. Now, if you want to talk about the base, the base is a little messy. It doesn't have a really good amount of detail on it, just like the other ones, but this one has like too many thunderbolts on it. What do we do with the base? I don't know, just add more thunderbolts. It looks terrible. And like, honestly, it should be better because like there's not much going on with this base. It's not as spread out as much as the other ones, like let's say Fluttershy's, whereas this one is completely blue, so it doesn't look really nice. But the good thing about the base is that it's thin, it has these little pegs on the bottom, and it also is very strong somehow still, and I do not know how these are made. So if you want to talk about the final sculpt of this figure, it's going to be a 10 out of 10. This figure has a great amount of detail work into it. The sculpt is quite fine. I did not find anything that was kind of misplaced. The figure itself is quite smooth all around. There's nothing that really sticks out too much. And from what I can see, it is quite a solid figure overall. There's nothing really wrong with it. So definitely deserves a 10 out of 10. As for the paint, there are some issues that are minor, like the hair being the weird yellow and the scratch bits on the tail. As are not, the paint on this one's quite vibrant. It could be better for the base. It does pop a little bit more interestingly than the rest of the characters because of all the different colors on this one. So this one's paint will get a 9.5 out of 10. Now for overall score, this figure does deserve a pretty much perfect 10 out of 10. There's not much wrong with this one. It has perfect hair. It's got a great face, great expression, great pose, and it's quite dynamic. The colors are very vibrant. Their only minor issue is the paint being weird on the top of the hair and also the pony missing some paint on her tail. But other than that, this figure is pretty good. I do wish, again, these bases were better, but it's all they can really do for these figures without making them more expensive. This means that this figure gets a 91% out of 100. It's one of the better ones of the collection. Now, if you did enjoy this Kate Frenzy review, there's a lot of ponies I've already reviewed and there's one left, which is Rarity. Rarity will be next week's episode. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Check out the other episodes after the link and I'll leave you with this week's haiku. We shall see you again.